Hello, everybody. This lesson is about chemistry. It's a special topic within the chemistry. Uh, it is called stoichiometric calculations. And we are only working with mole relationship. This question is, the reaction equation is given, and it is a balanced equation. The question is, I have 9 moles of oxygen. How many moles of sulfur I need in order to perform this uh, reaction? Just one thing to remember, the number in the uh, reaction equation refers to moles. Two refers to moles, three refers to moles, and two refers also to moles. Therefore, this kind of question is nothing but mathematics. What topics? In mathematics, it's a ratio problem. We just do the ratios. Two over question mark. Two over the question mark is equal to three over nine. So what is the question mark? It's six, is it? So the answer is you need six moles of sulfur to react with nine moles of oxygen to perform the uh, reaction. It's just a ratio problem. So once you know the principle, it's a ratio problem, it's so easy for the next one now. What is the question mark? If I am given 18 moles of carbon monoxide, how many moles can I obtain for the, uh, for the iron uh, metal? Oh, OK. So ratio. Three over eighteen is equal to two over what? Two over the question mark. So what is the question mark? Twelve. It's just a ratio. Similarly, you see how easy these problems are. Three over six. is equal to 4 over what? So it's very simple. 3 over 6 is equal to 4 over what? What is the question mark? 8. There are three problems here, A, B, C. For problem A, 3 over 24 is equal to 2 over question mark. So the question mark is 16. That's part A. Part B. How many moles of iron 
will react with 24 moles of chlorine. So two over question mark is equal to 3 over 24. So this is again For part C, I want two answers. Yeah, let's call this x, let's call this y. So 2 over 0 0.5 is equal to, this is 3, 3 over x. It is also equal to 2 over y. So what is x? So x is X is three over three quarters of a mole. What is Y? Y is zero point five. Okay. This kind of question is simply a ratio problem. So the chemistry question is reduced to a simple mathematics problem. So that's all for the mole calculation. Next time, we will have mass and mole calculation. Then it's slightly different. The mole calculation is very simple. Good. That's all for today's uh, mole calculation. Thank you for watching. We will talk about uh, next topic in chemistry, next lesson. Goodbye.